hour of solution and I'm happy to be with you tonight God is going to visit us tonight it's going to be a night of redemption it's going to be a night of the supernatural as usual it's going to be a night of wonderful prayers and praying it's going to be a night of turn around for you. It's going to be a, a wonderful night. It's a night that the Lord will wipe away your tears. And I want you to be hopeful tonight. I want you to be expectant tonight. Tonight is a special night. It's a glorious night. It's a night that heaven will wipe away the tears of men. It's a night that God is going to visit us in his power and in his fullness. It's a night that the Lord will heal the sick. It's a night that God will deliver the oppressed. I'm happy for you this night. As many that, are, that have hooked up with us, as many that are watching us tonight, I'm very happy because this night, the God of heaven, the creator of the heavens and the earth, God who loves you, God who is merciful, is going to cause a turn around for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Invite your friends. Invite your household, invite your colleagues, and be focused tonight. Forget what the enemy have said. Forget the feelings of your body. Forget that terrible dream you had, and the enemy, and the enemy told you that you can never be free. Forget all that, because this night, the God of change will cause a mighty change in your life in the name of Jesus. Remember tonight is the hour of solution. And this night I know the God that I serve, the God of heaven and earth, my Father in heaven, will bring about a solution to every family, to every need, to every sick person, to every hopeless situation in the name of Jesus. Once again, I want to congratulate you in advance because this night, you must have testimony. This night, God is going to visit you in the name of Jesus. Let's have a word of prayers together as we commence tonight's program. Father, we thank you for tonight. The God of all flesh, the great God of heaven, the one that says, I change not, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. My Father, the great God of heaven, I want to thank you for what you have done through this medium. The previous uh, night of solution for what you have done, the great deliverances, the great healings, for those that you have delivered from the hands of the enemy. We want to bless you for all that you have been doing each week as we come before you, as we come before your presence. Thank you for the sick that have been healed. Thank you for those that are, that are oppressed, that have been released. Thank you, Father, for those that are hopeless, that you have given hope and courage. Thank you, Lord, for the great and wonderful things you have done. And Lord, for tonight, I am certain, I am sure that you are going to do much more tonight. I bless you because tonight your glory will come down, your power will come down. Tonight you are going to deliver the oppressed. Tonight you are going to heal the sick. Tonight you are going to do great things. Tonight you are going to honor your name, you are going to defend your world. Therefore, I pray that this night, as many that will be watching us, as many viewers around the globe, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in America, in Canada, in Turkey, 
in China, in any part of the globe, that will be praying along with us tonight. Lord, I decree the power of God will be made manifest in their lives, in their situations, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that tonight you will deliver the oppressed. Tonight you will open wombs that have been closed. Tonight, everything that has brought about sorrow in the life of the viewers, Lord, tonight, the God that changed these situations, Lord, I decree that tonight you will bring solution to their needs. You will bring solution to their problems in the name of Jesus. I pray that tonight the gate of heaven will be opened. Heaven will open. Lord, men will pray and pray through in the name of Jesus. The anointing that breaks every yoke, Lord, I pray that you release it tonight. The anointing that destroys the works of darkness, Lord, I pray you release it tonight. Lord, I pray that tonight no impossibility will stand before us as we call upon your name in the name of Jesus. Make it a powerful night. Make it a night of redemption. Make it a night of deliverance. Make it a night of prayers. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to welcome uh, every one of us to this wonderful night. It's going to be a glorious night. As you can see from my, from my face, I am happy. I am uh, excited. Because... I am coming tonight with the power of God. I am coming tonight to fulfill upon your life, upon the life of our viewers, the mandate that the Lord has given us. And this night, I don't want anything to bother you. We are before the presence of God. And in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Like as I said, forget about your feelings. Forget about what the doctor has said. Forget about the bragging of the enemy. Forget about what the wicked have threatened to do against you and to do with your life. I want to tell you that this night, the Lord will settle you. This night, there is hope for the hopeless. For those of you that are watching us anywhere in Nigeria, in Lagos, in any part of the world, this is the hour of solution. And during this hour of solution, there is solution to every problem. There is solution to every, uh, to every mountain. There is solution to any difficulty you have. And that's why this night, be focused. Don't forget, it's a prayer-based program. We don't preach much. Very soon, we just look into the Word of God. We exhort you with the word of God, then we get into the time of prayers. And I want to tell you, there is potency in prayer. There is no door that prayer cannot uh, uh, open. There is no padlock of the enemy that prayer cannot break loose for you. And that's why this night we are going to pray. If you are sick, there is healing for you tonight. If your situation seems hopeless, this night the Lord will give you hope. The Bible said that God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. The Bible said that for with God, nothing shall be impossible. And irrespective of your situation, irrespective of your condition, I want to tell you, God will cause a turnaround for you tonight in the name of Jesus. I'll be speaking to us on the topic, the God that changes situations. Yes. Our topic tonight is the God that changes situations. And that's our God. He's a specialist in changing situations. He's a specialist in changing negative situations. And tonight, we are going to consider a man, a man that had negativity in his life. He was faced with challenges of life. In fact, the name of that man was Sorrow. 
but he used the weapon of prayer. He used the power in prayer to change his situation. And viewers that are watching us tonight, irrespective of your situation, I want to assure you, your situation can change. And this night, your situation must change. I did not say it will change. I, say, I said it must change. Whether you are sick, this night you will be healed. Whether you are under a, a, a terrible oppression of a, an occultic personality, this night you will be delivered. Whether your womb has been locked up, and at night you are crying, day you are crying, and you are asking questions, God, why me? Why me? I've, I've been to the naming ceremony of other people. When will, when will others come to my own naming ceremony? I want to tell you that is going to change. Because this program of tonight will bring about a change in your life. And people are coming for your naming ceremony in the name of Jesus. Remember tonight, I'm speaking to us on the topic, the God that changes situations. I love that. I am very happy tonight because I see situations, cha situations changing. I see circumstances, negative circumstances, orchestrated by the enemy, by the devil. I see it changing tonight. And remember, the God that changes situations. And that God is available tonight. That, that God is close to you tonight. That God is ready to change your situation tonight. And I want to assure you tonight, by the powers that created the heavens and the earth, your situation will change tonight in the name of Jesus. We take our test from the book of First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 to 10. If you are with your Bible, please read along with us. A text is taken from the book of First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 to 10. I read, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I love that. The Bible first started with the testimony. It started with the testimony of Jabez. Because the life and the situation of Jabez changed for good. And I love the way the scripture started with the testimony of Jabez. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And that would be your testimony. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. That's the secret for change. That's the secret of the victory. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. That's wonderful. The Lord granted Jabez that which he requested. Remember, I'm speaking to us tonight before we pray. The God that changes situations. That's the topic of tonight's program. The God that changes situations. Jabez's case was a terrible one. You can equate the situation of Jabez with anything today. Is it sickness? Is it captivity? Is it spiritual imprisonment? Is it embargo? Is it barrenness? You can equate the situation of Jabez with 
the negative situations that are confronting men today. The situation of Jabez was serious. It was a, a, a terrible situation. But I love what Jabez did. He never gave up. He did not accept defeat. He did not conclude that his situation cannot be changed. And you know that many people conclude today about their situation. I cannot have children. I cannot bear children. I cannot be free. I cannot be healed. I cannot overcome my enemy. Not Jabez. Jabez knew that his situation was terrible. But Jabez resolved within him. He resolved to pray. And I want to tell us there is potency in praying and in prayer. And I want to encourage you, viewers that are watching us, all over the globe, I want to encourage you, there is no situation that is hopeless. There is no situation that cannot change. There is no situation you are in now that God cannot cause a change. There is no situation in your life that is beyond God. There is no circumstances in your life that God cannot change. Remember, I'm speaking to us tonight on the topic, the God that changes situations. And tonight, somebody's situation is changing. Tonight, somebody that is watching me, I want to congratulate you. Because this night, your situation must change. I did not say your situation will change. I did not say that your situation can change. I said your situation must change. I am very certain. And tonight is loaded. Tonight is loaded. It's a night of testimonies. It's a night of change. Power must change hand in your life. Like where we have read Jabez, he was a man of sorrow. Life was not favorable to Jabez. Poverty was there. The life of Jabez was stormy. The life of Jabez was full of storms and thorns. But Jabez resolved to pray. Jabez did not resolve to cry and tell the enemy, I, 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 I surrender, you have won. No, not Jabez. Jabez resolved to pray. And if you can pray tonight, I want to assure you as a servant of God, your situation will change. I've shared my experience with, with us some weeks back. It was the power of prayer that changed my situation. So when I'm talking, I know what I'm saying as a servant of God. And tonight, your situation will change. That reminds me, I think sometimes last year, a particular woman had been buried for 10 years. 10 solid years. Neighbors were mocking him. People were mocking him. They would throw words at him. Barrel woman. You've been in the house of your husband for 10 years. No issue. And the woman will cry. The woman will cry. Her situation was like that of Jabez. People will, 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 will mimic him, make mockery of her. People will mimic her, make mockery of her life. They will call her a barren woman. They will, neighbors will gossip about her. But as a God that changed this situation, the mockery did not, did, did not continue for eternity. The gossiping of the neighbor did not continue for, for, for eternity. I could still remember vividly. A day came, the husband put a, a call across to us and said, Pastor, 
I've been married for 10 years, no issue. We've been looking up to God for, 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 for the fruit of the womb. And by the grace of God, knowing that we serve a God that changes situations. We encourage her, we encourage him, we encourage the couple. And by God's grace, I could still remember vividly. We made prayers. We spoke to the God that changed this situation. The creator of the heavens and the earth. The one that said, beside me, there is no other God. After that, just 10 minutes prayers. And we assured them that God will do something. God will change their situation. I remember I was invited somewhere to come and minister. Coincidentally, I met the young man there. And after my ministration that day at that program, he called me, he said, sir, please come, pastor, come. Come and see my wife. My wife is now pregnant. Ten years of sorrow. Ten years of mockery. Ten years of barrenness was destroyed. And by the grace of God, this year, I was at the naming ceremony. And God is a wonderful God. The woman that had been barren for 10 solid years. When this our great God will wipe away her tears, God gave her twins, a boy and a girl. The naming ceremony was like a crusade. By God's grace, I was an officiating minister at the naming ceremony. That's what God can, can do. And that's what God will do for you tonight. The God that changes situations he changed the situation of that woman 10 years barrenness was destroyed neighbors that were gossiping and saying terrible things about her came to rejoice with her and i want to tell you your situation will change tonight in jesus name maybe you are barren as the lord visited that family the lord will visit you tonight Whatever is your circumstances, whatever is your condition, whatever is your situation, the Bible says, and God called, and Jabez called on the God of Israel. The testimony of the scriptures was that God granted Jabez all that he requested. And this night, as we pray, as we call upon God, every of your requests will be granted in the name of Jesus. Let's see the book of Acts chapter, Isaiah chapter 49. That's our second test for tonight. Isaiah chapter 49. The book of Isaiah chapter 49. We read from verse 24 to 25. The book of Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 24 to 25. Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 24 to 25. Please read, read along with me. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? That's the question. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, those that are mighty in wickedness, those that are mighty in holding men in captivity, those that are mighty in frustrating the life of people. Those that are mighty in enchantment, in enchanting against the life of men. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Verse 25. But all seeth the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. Hallelujah. I love that. Even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. Tell yourself, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, shall be released tonight. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. This night the Lord will deliver you. For we contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. Tonight, the Lord will save you from the hand of the mighty. 
The Bible said, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? Maybe you are a lawful captive. Maybe your family is a lawful captive. Your family have been, have been mortgaged to the enemy. Maybe you are a lawful captive as a result of sin, as a result of seeking help where there is no help, and you entangled yourself, and the enemy were able to, to, to prey on you, hold you a, a, hold you a, 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 a captor. This night, the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Thus saith the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, shall be released. Even if you are a lawful captive, captive as a result of your own re re resolution, captive as a result of your own mistake, captive as a result of being sold to the enemy, the Bible says that the lawful captive shall be delivered. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. The Lord said, I will contend with him that contended with thee. Tonight is a night of contending. You contend with the powers of the wicked. You contend with the powers of the enemy. Remember, the topic of tonight's program is the God that changes situations. That captive situation of yours must be changed tonight. That captivity of yours must be changed tonight. Jabez was a prey. Jabez was a lawful captive, knowingly or unknowingly. But a time came, he contended in prayers. He contended with the power that be. He said, enough is enough. I cannot continue in this situation. He broke loose from the captivity of the enemy. And no wonder, the Bible says that Jabez became more honorable than his brethren. And tonight, your situation will change. Your condition will change. Tonight is loaded. Very soon, we are going to, we are going to get into the time of prayers. And you are going to pray like Jabez. Dead womb. Hear me and hear me well. Life is coming into those womb. I just share with us the, the, the testimony of that woman. Ten years of captivity to barrenness. Ten years of barrenness. And when the mighty God broke that captivity, God gave her twins, a boy and a girl. I witnessed the naming ceremony. In fact, I was the, uh, the officiating minister in the naming ceremony. And perhaps the, 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 the family could be watching this program now. That's what our God can do. He changed the situation of that family. He wiped away their, 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 their sorrow. He wiped away their disgrace. He wiped, he wiped away their shame. And tonight, the God that changes situations, the God that said even the lawful captive shall be delivered, that God is present tonight to deliver us, to cause a change in our situation in the name of Jesus. And this night, I want to assure you there will be redemption. There will be testimonies. There will be deliverance. There will be an end to that oppression. That arrow, that person that they shot arrow at you. And that sore has refused to heal. That sore, that demonic sore on your leg. This night, the hour of solution, the power of God will touch you. That demonic, satanic soul on, on your leg will be healed tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to just open your mouth and begin to bless the name of God. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of God. Worship Him tonight. Glorify Him tonight. Worship Him anywhere you are. Anywhere you are, worship Him. Worship Him. Glorify Him. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Worship Him. Give Him all the glory. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. 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 Your name is Yahweh. You are the 
miracle-working God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle-working God. Your name is Yahweh. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, the hope of the hopeless. Worship Him. Worship Him because tonight you will be free. Worship Him because tonight you will be delivered. Worship Him because tonight the Lord will set you free. Worship Him. Worship Him. Give Him all the glory. Give Him all the adoration. Tonight is your night. It's a night of redemption. It's a night of freedom. I see Jabez. I see Jabez. I, I see Jabez giving testimonies. I see Jabez being delivered tonight. Worship him. Worship him. I see the barrel having their own children. Worship him tonight. I see the oppressed being delivered. Worship him tonight. Yahweh, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Let's give him all the glory. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. The windows of heaven is open. The power of God. Here. The spirit of the Lord is here. He will set the captive free. I mean, the windows of heaven is open. The power of God is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. He will set the captive free. I mean, the windows of heaven is open. The power of God is here. Spirit of the Lord is here. He will set the captive free. Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working Open your mouth and bless his name. Worship his name. He's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He's the lord that can do all things. He's the lord that will answer your prayers tonight. He's the lord that will deliver you tonight. He's the lord that will bring an end to every captivity in your life tonight. He's the lord that will wipe away your sorrows. He's the lord that will deliver your family from that family captivity. From that family mortgage, from that family spiritual mortgage, he's the, he's the one that will deliver you tonight. He's mightily present here tonight. He's mightily present here tonight. He's going to touch you that is sick. He's going to heal you that is sick. He's going to deliver your prayers. He's going to wipe away your tears. Mighty God, El Shaddai. Jehovah El Shaddai, worship him this night. Glorify him. I see wonders tonight. I see power tonight. I see redemption tonight. I see lawful captive being delivered tonight. I see the oppressed being delivered tonight. That woman that is there bedridden, bedridden, bedridden. And you cannot live a comfortable life. You are fed up with life. I see power coming into your body tonight. Bless his name, God is here tonight. This is the hour of solution. There is solution for you tonight. There is solution to every challenge tonight. There is solution to every problem tonight. I see the jobless be getting job. I see the Lord delivering you tonight. I see God repositioning your life tonight. Worship him, worship him. I told us it's a powerful night. It's a night of fire. It's a night of glory. 
It's a night of redemption. It's a night of hope. It's a powerful night. It's a night of wonders. I see somebody there, you are in the hospital bed. I see power touching you tonight. I see the Lord delivering you tonight. I see that yoke of death over your life being broken tonight. Worship him. He's a mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel. His situation was terrible. His situation was negative. Men wrote him up. But the Bible says, and, and, God, and Jabez called on the God of Israel. I want you to open your mouth. Whatever is your condition, open your mouth and begin to call upon God. Begin to call upon God. Begin to call upon God now. Jabez called on the God of Israel. Call upon God. I told us tonight, the, it's a night of the God that changes situations. Your situation will change tonight. Begin to call upon God. 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 Jabez said, enough is enough. Enough of the sorrow. They wrote off Jabez. They said Jabez will not make it. But the Bible says, and Jabez called on the God of Israel. Call upon him tonight. You call upon God. Oh God, let there be a change in my situation. Let there be a change in my circumstances. It's a night of power. It's a night of changing situation. It's a night of the glory of the Lord. Jabez did not keep quiet. You cannot keep quiet. You must not keep quiet. Call upon God tonight. What is that negative situation in your life? Are you buried? Call upon God tonight. I shared with all the testimony of that woman. Ten years of barrenness. And when this mighty God will change her situation, God gave her a twins, a boy and a girl. That's what the power of prayer can do. There is power in prayer. Call upon God. Anywhere you are watching us in any part of the globe. I see somebody watching us from Malaysia. I see somebody watching us from Canada. I see somebody watching us from US. Anywhere you are watching this program is the hour of solution. It's a prayer-based program. What we do on this program is to pray. And tonight is a night of prayers. It's a night of prayers. Prayer changes situation. Prayer changes every negativity in your life. Prayer changes the, 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 the pronouncement of the wicked one over your life. Prayer changes captivity. Prayer bring, brings poverty to an end. Call upon God tonight. The God that changes situation is available tonight. I see somebody there, you've been buried for a number of years. You've gone to places and it appears as if you cannot conceive. Oh Lord, I release the power of re redemption. I release the power of resurrection. Let the power of resurrection break the yoke of barrenness in the life of that woman. Call upon God. The hour of prayer. Call upon God. Jabez prayed and God changed his, his, his situation. Jabez prayed and his situation was changed. He became honorable more than his brethren. Your situation can change. Every captivity over your life break. Yes. The Bible said that even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Yes. Even the lawful captive. If your family is a lawful captive, if your wife is a lawful captive, if your life is a lawful captive, maybe you sold yourself to the devil. Maybe you, you, you sought for help where there is no help. And because of that, you entangled your life. The Bible says that even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Pray tonight. Every captivity over your life, break in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every captivity over your family. Every Every captivity all over your business, every captivity, the captivity of the enemy, you have become a prey in the hand of the enemy. The enemy is preying on you. The enemy is sitting on your life. You are under a siege. A, a, you are under captivity. Tonight, the Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Every chain of captivity break in the name of Jesus. 
yes. The hour of prayer, I told us tonight's prayer is a, a, is a different level. It's in another dimension. Pray tonight. Every lawful, every lawful chain over my life, every lawful captivity over my life, I command it to break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Shall the prayer be taken from the mighty? Yes. The prayer must be taken from the mighty. The pray, maybe you are a prey in the hand of a terrible man, in the hand of a herbalist, in the hand of an occultic man. Maybe you are a prey in the hand of a cause. Maybe you are a, you are you are a prey in the hand of principalities and powers. The Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive be delivered? The Bible says, I thus saith the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. Yes. There's freedom for a lawful captive tonight. Every captivity over your life, you destroy it. I see somebody there that's a, a, that's a captivity over your business, you destroy it. You destroy it. Every captivity over your life, you command it to break in the name of Jesus. That particular family that is there, you one, two, three, four, more than five people, you are under a, 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 a siege. You are a family together. Your life is under captivity. You pray tonight. Let every captivity over your life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The captivity of the wicked, the captivity of the enemy, I command it to break tonight in the name of Jesus. That must be a change. That must be a change. Jabez did not give up. That Jabez did not surrender his freedom to the enemy. Jabez did not surrender his redemption to the enemy. You cannot, you must not surrender your freedom to the enemy. Pray yourself out tonight, yes. Pray yourself through tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Turn it to prayer. Anywhere you are watching us, anywhere you are watching us, anywhere you are watching us is the hour of solution, a prayer based program. Pray tonight. Let every captivity be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Are you a lawful captive? The Bible says you shall be delivered. Pray tonight. Every chain of captivity, every chain of your pressure, every chain of the enemy. I see somebody you will gather and gather and gather. It's like you are gathering into a leaking basket. That's a captivity. Oh God, let that captivity catch fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let that captivity, the captivity of wickedness. I see that, I see that man. It's like a basket. It's like a basket. You gather and gather and the basket is leaking. The work of your hands is leaking. Oh God, because today is a day of change. It's a day of freedom for the captive. I command that wicked personality, that wicked instrument, Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. The hour of solution. You have to pray. Jabez prayed and the situation changed. Jabez prayed and his captivity was broken. Jabez prayed and his, and his sorrow came to an end. Jabez prayed and his poverty came to an end. Jabez prayed and his sickness came to an end. Jabez prayed and his captivity came to an end. Jabez prayed and his oppression came to an end. Tonight is your turn. It's your turn. It's is your thought? Where is your weapon? Where is your weapon? The weapon of prayer is your weapon. It's a formidable pray weapon. It has never failed. It has, it has never failed. It's a powerful weapon that disorganizes the enemy. It's a powerful weapon that breaks the chain. Every captivity over your life, you command it to break in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you are watching us, whether you are in America, whether you are in South Africa, whether you are in Nigeria, anywhere you are watching us, that person that is watching us from Malaysia, yes, I see the power of God touching you right there in Malaysia. The distance is not a barrier. The power of God is here tonight. Pray yourself, pray yourself. Those women that are there, you've been married for our state. I speak life into that your womb, yes. That your womb that appears to be dead. That your womb that appears to be buried. Tonight, by the power of resurrection, I command life to enter into that womb, yes. Everything that is dead in that your womb, let the power of God touch you tonight. Pray the hour of solution. The Lord is here to deliver you. The Lord is here to set you free. The Lord is here to change your situation. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. 
with God, all things are possible. Tonight, sustain the momentum. Sustain the momentum. There is fire tonight. I see power tonight. In fact, where I am here, I, I feel the presence of God. I am loaded tonight, and I'm ready to dish out what heaven has loaded in me. Tonight, you must be free. You must be free. You have no reason to remain under captivity. You have no reason. Your, whole, your situation is not hopeless. There is no condition that is hopeless. There is no situation that is hopeless. Jabez had a terrible, a, a terrible challenge. Jabez's case was, was worse than many of us. But Jabez called on the God of Israel. And there was a turnaround in his life. Tonight we are going to pray. We are going to pray. Remember, it's a prayer. It's a prayer-based program. The only thing we do on this program is to pray. And this night, this night, there is going to be a shaking. You are going to pray now. Every prison house of the devil, yes. The foundation of my problem, I command you to collapse in the name of Jesus. Yes, the, fun, the formidable foundation of your problem, the foundation of that barrenness in your life, the foundation of that captivity in your life, that family that is there, and, and that family uh, that is there, and that's a, that, that's a serious, that's a serious captivity over your life. None of you are making it. That's a serious, that's a serious captivity over your life. Tonight you pray every foundation of my problem. Every power behind the challenges of your life. Every power behind the captivity of your life. Let the foundation collapse tonight. Yes, let the foundation collapse. Paul and Silas was in the prison house and they prayed and they sang and there was an earthquake. Yes, and there was an earthquake. An earthquake that dislodged the enemy. An earthquake that opened the prison door. Tonight you pray, you pray, you pray. Let there be an earthquake, yes. Any kingdom holding me in captivity. Any kingdom that doesn't want me to progress. I see somebody there, you are struggling and struggling and struggling. That kingdom, that kingdom that will not allow you to accelerate in life. That kingdom that will not allow you to move at, at a fast pace in life. You command that kingdom to collapse in the name of Jesus. Let there be an earthquake. A spiritual earthquake in, the, in every kingdom holding you. In every coven holding you. Let there be an earthquake tonight. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray. The prison door is opening for you. The prison door of captivity is opening for you. The prison door of hopelessness is open, opening for you. The prison door of the enemy is opening for you. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. The the Bible said that the lawful captive shall be delivered. It's a night of redemption. It's a night of deliverance. It's a night of power. It's a night of praying at yourself. That family bondage, that family captivity, you release the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume it in the name of Jesus. Pray! Every powers of the terrible over your life must be destroyed tonight. The powers of the terrible one over your life. The powers of the wicked one over your life. The powers that have laid claim on your life. The powers that are bragging like Goliath. Like Goliath, they intimidate your life. They brag over your life. Tonight, every powers of the terrible over your life, I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. The powers of the terrible over your life. The powers...